All right. So when two objects move toward thermal equilibrium, they're transferring thermal uh, energy, uh, which is uh, what we call heat. Okay. Uh, that heat, that thermal energy, is measured in joules. Uh, and we have a whole bunch of different kinds of uh, thermal energy. So we can talk about um, sensible uh, energy is energy that's a result of a temperature change. Um, we can also talk about uh, latent thermal energy uh, that takes the form of different phases, so gas, solid, or liquid. Um, so in this case, with, when a sensible energy changes, the kinetic energy of our object is increasing. Um, when, when we heat something up and it starts to, say, turn from a liquid to a gas, what's happening is that we're adding energy to that um, that's starting to break uh, the attractive bonds between molecules. They're essentially rattling against each other so much that one flies off and breaks those bonds. Uh, and so it has more thermal energy, uh, but while it's in that process of change, it's actually not increasing its kinetic energy. That energy is going into uh, breaking those bonds. We can also look at a divide our energy in an object uh, according to this chart. So we have what's called internal energy and mechanical energy, and we're going to use that division a lot. We're interested in a lot of terms in thermal energy. This other energies uh, uh, we can think of as nuclear energies, uh, chemical energies, uh, electric energies. Um, those are real and matter, but uh, in heat transfer, they tend to be kind of sidelined. We're interested in uh, temperature change and phase change primarily. So this is the, the internal energy of a material. Mechanical energy has to do with what that material is doing in the world, right? Uh, so this is how fast um, that material is moving. This is about how high it is or how far away it is from gra some gravitational source. So we'll sort of dig into these different kinds of energies as we go, but you won't be surprised to learn uh, that this is the one that concerns us the most. So we've talked about temperature and we've talked about thermal energy or heat. Uh, and let's talk a little bit about how they're related. Um, so uh, change in thermal energy, uh, sensible thermal energy, uh, is needed to change the temperature of material. Uh, and the relationship between those two things is determined by uh, the calorimetry equation, uh, which we see right here. So you probably recognize this uh, from 211. Uh, and C is our specific heat, um, M is our mass, uh, and so this is telling us that in order uh, to change my temperature this much, I need to add this much energy. So if I have a large mass, Okay, so you might have noticed that uh, uh, heat uh, on the previous equation was Q. Uh, we use all sorts of Qs uh, in heat transfer. Um, and this is just a little table to summarize some of the, the symbols uh, and definitions that we are, are going to use in the class. So we have thermal energy uh, up here, which is uh, often as, uh, denoted as U. Um, which is short for internal energy. So even though you doesn't start, <laughs> internal energy has nothing to do with you. Anyway, so that's uh, internal energy. The T subscript tells us that it's thermal. 
uh, and then we have temperature, we have uh, heat, which is an amount of energy here, uh, that's Q. Uh, we have heat rate, which is uh, the energy transferred per unit time, so that's in units of power or watts, joules per second. Uh, and then finally, we have heat flux, which is uh, energy transferred per unit time, per unit area. So if we have, you know, a large area and we want to know what, how much is it, how much energy is moving through any given part of that surface, uh, we have heat flux, which it would be in joules per, uh, say, meter squared uh, per second or power per meter squared. Okay. So those are all different ways of identifying um, uh, how much heat uh, there is or how much heat is moving uh, within a certain geometry. Uh, and be sure to keep your cues straight. It's easy to mix these up. Uh, this is an amount of energy. This is a change in energy per unit time. And this is an amount of energy moving through a given space uh, in a given unit of time. So uh, heat energy, uh, heat rate, and heat flux. And that's it for this little uh, intro.